In the past, Taiwan's main source of household heating came from charcoal made from the Formosa acacia, but it has been slowly phased out with the onset of natural gas and petroleum usage. Nowadays, the charcoal has found a new audience among the artistic community. Suited from top to bottom, a meager income made from converting wood to charcoal is how many Miaoli Zhaochao residents lived 50 years ago. That's how it is. That's line work. When we rested, it was on these baskets. We were covered in soot. Living his life by the kiln, this is how 80-year-old charcoal master Ye Yunlu remembers his younger days. But the once-in-demand job is no longer relevant in modern times. And thus, in Zhao Chao, he remains the only one left doing this line of work. In the past, 90% of Taiwan's charcoal came from Zhao Chao, which is why this area is also known as the home of charcoal. There was about some 18,000 kilograms of charcoal in one kiln. For 18 days, we would have to guard it, sleep there, to make sure the fire didn't go out. As petroleum and natural gas have come to replace charcoal, this fuel has been given a new lease of life in the artistic field, like in pottery. This wood is about 50 or 60 years old. We select the Formosa acacia because it's naturally a good burning agent. First of all, it sustains the fire well. Another is that there is more oil content in the wood, so when burnt, the range of colors is broader. Because of the Formosa acacia's oxidation properties, the colors will range from gold to jade green, very much like the farm fields in Yuanli in harvest time, where we see a field of gold with a hint of green. Working with mediums tied to Taiwan as selected for its hard surface yet delicate features, charcoal artists have found the Formosa acacia to be a good medium to present their talents. Charcoal is difficult to sculpt. It's not like working with wood. When charcoal falls, it breaks, so of course there is a certain level of difficulty. Come May and June each year, the blooming Formosa acacia colors the mountain ranges in golden yellow. Witnessing such scenery is really a gift from the heavens. In terms of flowers, we know chamomile and jasmine flowers are good for antioxidant tea. But Formosa acacia's antioxidant properties are better than those two. The tree's leaves, bark, and even wood can be used in disease prevention. It is also an anti-inflammatory agent. It can treat gold and lower uric acid levels. Overall, the Formosa acacia is not a fancy tree, but the value of the tree lies in the diversity of its parts.